What's going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome back to Let's Create an Action Role Playing Game using Unreal Engine 4. So in the previous video we added blocking and we made the enemy, uh, like when we block while the enemy is hitting us, we don't get damaged and we have to block again to, uh, you know, block. So now what we are gonna do today is we are gonna be adding wait let me turn down the volume yeah we are gonna be adding particle effects for the blocking and for the damage without blocking so for example if we get hit like this while we are not blocking we can we're gonna do a little blood uh, splatter effect and if we are blocking we are gonna do this like um, embers like that come out of the friction between the swords so yeah we are gonna do that right now but before we get started make sure that you like the video and subscribe if you're new to my channel to help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers and uh, super special thanks to my precious patrons who are getting the project files while still supporting the channel so yeah let's get started the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the blueprints and go to our BP base as usual and uh, in our combat, we have over here, we have hit detection, which is check hit and on hit. So in the previous video, we added it on hit and uh, we added like if it's blocking, then if it's true, like if blocking is true, we play a an animation that um, makes blocking like while she's blocking, she gets pushed back a little bit. And yeah, it's an impact, but there is no damage. Like you can copy this and add a damage that's less than if you're not blocking. Uh, that that's always you know depends on the game design, or you know you could ask it if the stamina is zero and um, you're still blocking, you'll get hit if like you'll get damaged even if even if you get hit. So yeah, it's all up to you. We are gonna be adding stamina later, so expect us to do that soon. And yeah, if it's false, we get hit and we get damaged and all of that stuff. And the other one, which is check hit, which checks, you know, does this check around, the, you know, this hit range. And if it's true, then you will get hit, which, you know, turns on on hit the, in the BP interface. And, you know, that triggers this part. So yeah, they're connected. So over here, this is what we're going to be editing in this video. So we are going to be adding the particle effects here and it's going to be based on if you're blocking or not. And if we are blocking, we are going to play the friction particle. And if we aren't blocking, we're going to play the blood particle. And uh, the ones I'm going to be using today are from the marketplace. They are a free pack called um, Infinity Blade effects. Uh, I already imported them into this project like a while ago. They were permanently free, so make sure to check them out. So yeah, what we're gonna do is after the branch, so the hit range branch. So if we are in the hit range, we are gonna continue from the true. We're also gonna add another branch. There we go. And uh, the condition is gonna be, okay. Before we add the branch, we are going to be asking it if it's blocking. So type in blocking over here. And we're going to need the function, which is the um, one we made in the blueprint interface in the previous video. So I yeah, just call it like that. Oh, not this one. Sorry. I always get these mixed up. So yeah, type in blocking. There you go. This one. Oh, no, not this one either. Okay, we're gonna need to get it from the nearest enemy, so just drag out of here and type in blocking. There you go, blocking message. And uh, just plug it into true. We only need to do this if we are in the hit range, so false, we're just not gonna do anything. And the condition for the branch is blocking and connect it like this. Now, if we are blocking, we are going to spawn different um, particles, whether we are blocking or not. So, yeah. Okay, so this play sound at location. Yeah, I'm just going to not do anything with it right now. 
we already added other ones in the uh, on hit so I'm just gonna delete it I don't know now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag out our true so this happens if we are blocking and we want to type in spawn emitter at location and basically this one spawns a um, particle effect it's also called an emitter so we're gonna pick them later for now this is what you're gonna do and uh, we are gonna get the nearest enemy a reference because that one is way too far and uh, you know it could get our stuff complicated so what we are gonna do to get the good location is we are gonna drag out of here and get actor location and from this one we're just gonna yeah we are gonna make it vector minus vector and what we're gonna do is we are gonna for example we have uh, yeah we're gonna connect the actor location in the lower one and as for the upper one what we're gonna do is we are gonna get the socket location for the check hit socket so this is I think it's at the sword yeah it's at the sword so this is where we check the hit range this socket we made it like a few videos ago when we did the hit detection so yeah this is um, what, we're, what we're gonna need to minus from the actor location and then what we need to do is we need to normalize them so type in normalize and you should get it the tolerance don't mess with it and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna multiply our vector by a float so just type in vector multiplied by float and the value we're gonna get it's vector plus vector from the actor location and we're gonna connect it like this and this one is gonna be connected to the spawn emitter at location and that way you know it calculates the entire thing and you know gets the perfect location for it which is near the you know uh, check it socket but also near the actor location and uh, you guys told me to comment on everything and uh, yeah I'm gonna try doing that but uh, yeah let's just do it after the video we're also gonna need to copy this one and paste it over here and connect it to the false and we're also gonna need uh, which one is this connected to yeah it's this one so the plus is the location yeah we're just gonna need to add the template next we are gonna connect these two to the on head so that it triggers the on head node or function or whatever and uh, yeah I think that's the way we do it so we're just gonna go to the folders of the effects and we are gonna uh, look for good effects to try out and I'm gonna add a filter which only turns on the where are they particle systems and you should see like this that we we can now only see the particle effects okay so I've chosen the two particles I want to use from the effects folder and uh, they are sparks which is the first one and the other one is called health potion pickup and uh, I've gone and inserted them from the uh, here I've chosen them uh, I've selected each in the marketplace and clicked this use assets browser selection and that way both are you know in here 
and uh, you know the health potion we're gonna pl pretend it's blood it's supposed to be a pickup but it looks like blood and you know these effects aren't so good so yeah we're just gonna pretend you know they are what they are i i really hate working with the placeholders but uh, yeah that's the way it is so we are gonna hit play and we should be able to see our effects so if we block and the enemy hits us you can see that we can see the sparks. And if we hit her, we're gonna pretend that's blood. So yeah, that way it looks okay. If it was blood, it would look much better. And you know, the sparks, I, I like the effect, but uh, if the animation was actually looking forward, it would look much much better than this next what we're gonna do is we are gonna copy these out of the folder because i'm gonna delete it later so i don't know yeah i'm just gonna drag them in the weapons folder i know that's very lazy but uh, yeah we're just gonna do what we're gonna do and the other one is called health pickup i think the one i used is where is it yeah a health potion pickup this one and uh, I turned off the size by life, size by life, and yeah, that's it, just these two. And it looks much uh, more like blood right now. So I'm also gonna move it to the weapons folder so that we can delete this part later. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. One more thing I wanna change is the uh, sound effect for when you get hit. So in the BP base again, we are gonna go to the on hit and where does the sound play yeah it's over here before the we play the uh sound effect for the character we are going to copy the play sound at location and i've imported a new sound from the internet i think i called it swords yeah that's it and uh, yeah we're just gonna compile and Oh, I forgot the location. And yeah, now if we press play and we try playing our game. Oh, we also need it to be over here. I think we, we should we shouldn't use this one here. We should use something instead, something else, so I don't know. What about this one? Yeah, this one's okay. Sword sound. And if we hit play and it's our enemy. Yeah, better. Much better. So now it sounds like, you know, two swords are doing friction over each other. And uh, yeah, everything is great. So that was it for this video. I know it was very simple and very short. I'm really sorry about that. I'm gonna try to upload another video tomorrow, so please look forward to that. I'm very sorry for being quite inactive these days. Uh, you know, even on Discord, I haven't been checking it out lately. And, you know, the reason is because uh, I've been a little bit, you know, down, feeling down and very bored. So, yeah, you know, being stuck at home these days and uh, it, it wasn't that great. So, yeah, I'm barely even talking right now because of how bored I am. But, you know, making tutorials makes me have fun and uh, I was even more bored without it. So, yeah, I re I'm really glad to be back making videos. And I'm gonna try to keep doing stuff and staying active. Also, I've been a little bit addicted to Final Fantasy XIV, so please excuse me about that. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. And super special thanks to my patrons. And take care. Bye.